having amazing software is without a doubt one of the most important things to have when you're first starting your agency because it's going to allow you to really leverage your time and hone in with your focus on the things that matter most in your business which is setting more appointments and getting more clients now the problem that most people face right now is there's so many different softwares to choose from and a lot of them are really overpriced for the value that you're getting and a lot of people like myself before used to spend a lot of money on these other softwares waste all their capital that they have to invest in their business so that they can't actually grow it and make the money they want to be able to make okay so i'm going to show you what softwares to avoid by giving you every single software that i'm currently using that i know already works because i'm using it to get results for my own business so that you can just copy and paste into your own business and that you don't have to waste thousands of dollars so let's get into it okay so i'm going to break this down into three different sections number one appointment setting number two sales number three is my team which basically helps me get more appointments and more sales. Okay, so this is basically showing you the software that I use to get high ticket clients, right? Let's get into it. First thing we want to go into is Phantom Buster. So essentially, this is going to able be able to scrape thousands of leads per minute. Okay, so essentially taking your time to scrape all these leads, it's going to take a lot of time, right? And you can be using that to sign more clients to book more appointments to do all these things, right? You don't have time to be able to spend scraping leads yourself. So you can use this to do it really, 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 really fast. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it's done. Essentially, what you're going to want to do, let's say you want to take people from a group, right? If you want to go and message people on Facebook, right? What you can do, right, is you can go into here. And then what you can do from here is you'll just go to set up. And then what you'll do is you'll connect this to your Facebook account, which I'm going to not going to do. I'm not logged in on my Facebook account here. My VA is actually managing my Facebook. But what you'll do is you'll simply connect to Facebook here, connect to Facebook here. Actually, this might still work because it is connected to the account, right? It is what you can do is you can put the group url of the actual uh the group in here and then what you can do is you can click save you can search the amount of people that you actually want to scrape so let's say we want to scrape 5,000 people and how many groups do we want to do at a time right because we can actually do a list of groups at the same time so what you can actually do is you go back here you can actually put a spreadsheet in here and you can put all of the different uh, groups in that spreadsheet and you can just put the link to the Google Sheet in here. Then you go save and you can put like 10 groups in there. You can do 4,500 people per group, right? So obviously we're just scraping one group this time. So we can just do like this and maybe we want to get like 6,000 people from this group. Then what we do is we just go to save. Okay. And then we would just set this as once. And then what this is going to do is this is going to scrape 6,000 people for me very soon, right? So we would just click click launch and we can wait a little bit, but look at the time here. It's 1124 right now. This will be done very quickly. Okay. So invalid session cookie. Actually, this is what I thought would happen because I'm actually not logged into my Facebook account. You do actually have to have Facebook open. I'm not going to log into my Facebook account because that's going to mess things up because the IP address of my Facebook account is on my VAs. Okay. But essentially what is going to happen is you click launch and after about like five minutes or so, essentially it's going to just pop up with a uh, CSV that you can just download, upload it to Google Sheets, and then you can kind of go through all these leads and just focus on actually messaging them rather than going through the entire group and then picking and choosing all the different people that you actually want to message. So this is going to save a lot of time when you want to actually scrape people, right? And you can do this on Instagram as well. You can do this on LinkedIn. There is LinkedIn leads, right? There you go. Um, you just watch these tutorials generate your first lead, right? Maybe you want to extract a search from the, the URL. It's going to go through all the different leads. It's going to pull that CSV up for you. Again, you do have to have LinkedIn open for this to work, but you can basically scrape leads off of every single social media platform here, which is going to be extremely, extremely valuable for you. Okay. So the next tool I want to get into is drippy.ai. Okay. Now I've covered this more in depth in other videos, but I do want to go over it in this one because it is really, really, really good. Okay. This is an affiliate link. It's going to be in the description if you want to support me, but it actually is free. Okay. But there's obviously a paid version of it, but what you can do is you can actually go into here and you can go to lead scraper and you can source the leads for free. It actually just costs money to actually message the people. Okay. So what you can do is you can go to account source and you'll just paste someone's username. Okay. So let's say you want to do Tony Robbins Twitter. Okay, so what we can do is we can go onto Tony Robbins' Twitter and we need to log out of this account and then we just go on this other fake account. And uh, now we'll go to Tony Robbins. And I'm going to show you how to get these fake accounts as well. I don't know why I'm off the screen here. But we'll just go grab his username. What we can do is we can just throw it into here. Okay. And then we're going to be able to scrape 
all 3.2 million of his followers okay so what we would do is just add source and then we go next and then we'd be able to filter by these different features so these are his followers right so maybe we want them to have Maybe we're looking for influencers. We want them to have over 10,000 followers so we could add this filter. Maybe we want them to say, maybe we want fitness influencers. So maybe we'll do like fit, they have to have fitness in their bio or maybe they'll have to have like strength in their bio. Ooh. And maybe they want to have training in their bio and it would just be one of these. Any of these are fine. Uh, maybe like you can look for yoga, you can look for things like this, right? You can look for like gym, all these different things. And then once you have this, right, you can add this filter and it's going to filter out all of the people who have that in their bio, right? So we're filtering out obviously most of these people, but there is still a ton of people who have these things in their bio. So what we'll do is next, and we can just call this Tony Robbins Fitness Influencers, right? And we have 36,000 influencers right and we would just go save now this is going to take up a lot of credits there's only like a limited amount that you have so i'm not going to go ahead and do this um, but what you do is you just click save and it's going to load up an entire list and i'll show you what it looks like right so i'm looking for coaches and consultants here from the consulting firm so i just went looked at Bain and company boston consulting group Greg and carter was in here um i think he actually helps fitness coaches so that's why uh, and then mckinsey right and then i looked for uh, people with coach consultant all these different things and then i excluded these keywords so you can exclude keywords as well so like sports because we want like actual business coaches not like sports coaches so we excluded those right and then we have all these different leads so we have all these usernames so like what we can do is we can just open this in a new tab this is a qualified lead that we can literally just go into here and message okay so this guy is a he works at a consultant firm right maybe that's who you want so that's how you can do that okay hopefully that makes sense now another thing that you can do with drippy is you can actually message these people on complete autopilot so if you go to automation what you can do is you can just do new automation you can do cold dm 2.0 Right? You can choose how many messages you want to send per hour. You can go here, you can add um, follow-ups, right? You can configure your message, right? So you can have your script here. I'm actually using my outreach right now for Twitter specifically um, to just promote my YouTube channel and driving traffic there, right? So I can have this and then I have these follow-ups, right? And then you can select, you can even customize it with AI to make them personalized. I'm not doing that. Uh, but that is something that you can do. You can use ChatGPT to personalize the script inside of Drippy, and then you just choose the leads that you actually, the lead list that you want to be sending to. Okay, so it's really cool. That's how I do Twitter outreach. Um, right now, I'm just using it for YouTube because I'm trying to grow the brand. But that's how you do it. Okay. Next thing, colddms.com. So this is basically where I am getting most of my appointments from right now. Okay. So this is basically an Instagram automatic outreach tool. Okay. So you'll go in here, another affiliate link. You don't have to click it if you don't like me. That's fine. Um, but what you do in here, right, is you have these different campaigns, right? So what you can do is you can just make a new campaign, right? Call it something, blah, blah, blah. Change the time uh, in which you want to actually send it. You can change like the different amount of messages you want to send per day. You can do a range so that Instagram like kind of flies under the radar here. You can upload your lead list to here, right? So you go to Phantom Buster, scrape the leads, just put them to here, and then you're able to send these on complete autopilot, which is really, really, really cool. There's also a CRM in here, right? So you can manage the different leads. I have my VAs managing them right this right now, but you can just move things into here, which is pretty cool. Okay. And then you actually are paying based on the amount of accounts that you want to add here. I personally have a lot. Okay. Because I want to scale. So that's basically how that works. But obviously it's not going to be a grand a month if you're not sending thousands of messages a day. Okay. So that's basically how that works. Now, obviously to do that, you need a ton of accounts. So how you get more accounts, go into ZTU, basically uh, just log in here. So this is the actual page that you should go to. Okay. So let's say we want to get a, actually, let's say we want some Twitter accounts. Okay. So we'll just search up Twitter uh, and then it's just going to verify us and then we'll just wait. And let's say we want an account. And then you're going to have all these different accounts to choose from. Okay. So what I would do personally is I would look for accounts that were like aged. So they were registered a long time ago like this, but I also would look for things that are like registered in the United States. That's also really important to do just so that we again, we fly under the radar of Twitter's. So that's basically how that works. The next thing I'm using right to get clients is go high level. Okay. So this is where I actually host my calendar events. And it's also where I have my follow-ups, right? So basically if we go into here, I'm gonna show you how this works, right? So you can get a 14 day free trial. You can support me by using my link if you want to. Um, but anyways, let's actually log in and I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of what I'm actually doing to make sure that my conversion rate, my show up rate is really, really high. Okay, so we can see these different calendars, right? So 
let's say for example we have these calendars i have a whole bunch of different calendars to see actually where people came from okay so what we're actually gonna do um we don't want to do this but if we go into here i'm gonna show you this this is really cool that you can't do with things like calendly that you can do with go high level right so what you can do is you have this calendar right so let's say you just booked a time here put your details in here put your details in here put your details in here i'm just booking myself just to show you guys and then we'll schedule the meeting right and i'm going to show you this is really cool but this actually helps me get a higher show up rate right because we have our our thank you page at the end of this okay so basically this is just me saying Thanks for scheduling an appointment. Make sure you're showing up. We don't allow for rescheduling for no shows. Okay, make sure your business partner is on able to join us if you have one. And then make sure you're in a quiet environment with no distractions. So this is basically helping them prepare for the call with us so that we can be in a, a good environment to have a great conversation, try to move forward from there, right? So that is basically how that works. And I'll show you how to set that up too, right? So in this calendar, if you go to edit, what you can do is you can actually go to, I'd write, uh, in the forms and payment, if you go to confirmation page, redirect URL, you just put the link to your funnel in here. And you can also make the funnel in high level, which is really, really cool. So what you can actually do is if you go back and if you go to sites, and I would really recommend this, it's gonna increase your show up rate, I promise. And it's really, really easy to do, right? So if you go to funnels, I think it's in funnels. Yes, thank you page, right? So I just made this page and this is basically like you go edit, edit here. You can just make this funnel on high level. It's super, super easy. And you just put these words here. You put in like a, a background here and then you, you put like watch below. You put a, like a Wistia link or some kind of a hosting platform. You can use YouTube as well. Um, I find that Wistia is just works better. It's a lot cleaner. Um, there's less issues with that. Uh, and then you just put a text box here, right? You can just go here, click this plus and you can just add like a sub headline, a paragraph headline, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then you just put your little thing for your website there. Okay, so that's basically how that works. It increases your show up rate. It's really, really helpful. You can also set up text automation sequences that are also really useful that are going to help people show up as well. So if you go into your automations in high level, I can do a whole video breaking down high level for you. I'm going to try and keep this quick though. Um, but if we go to my strategy session sequence, which is essentially my appointment booking sequence, right? So we get a notification in our Slack channel when someone books a call and I'm going to go over Slack and all of that, right? This, I literally, this will take half an hour if I go through everything. Okay. Um, but essentially, right, we have our emails. This goes out to people when they book a call, right? This is an email for me, basically just giving them access to some of my YouTube videos so that they can get some confidence before the call that I actually know what I'm talking about. And then sending up constant emails we send out voicemails we send out sms sequences basically saying making sure if they got the zoom link in that email making sure they're all prepared for the call so we have a maximum possible show up rate okay leave a comment in the comments if you want me to do a video on high level but that's basically the breakdown of how it works it's such a good app it's 97 bucks a month it is more on the pricey side but for what you're getting it's absolutely ridiculous if you're not already using it, I would highly, 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 highly recommend using high level. And if you use this link, I'll love you forever. Okay. Metric tracking. We just use Google Sheets. Okay. So I'll show you some of the metrics that we're actually using, give you some of the behind the scenes, right? So this is one of my VAs and this is one of the systems that we're running. And this is basically how we track our metrics. Okay. And as you can see here, we have a almost 4% appointment booking rate from the messages we sent. This is in February, right? Um, so we sent 700 messages. This only started like halfway through the month. Now we're doing a lot more messages. We're actually cranking out 140 messages just from that one VA. And now obviously that just increases the amount of appointments we're able to book, but these conversion rates are pretty solid, right? We use a bunch of different channels. I'm not covering these in, in this video just because they're not related to software. It's literally just my VA going in here and sending messages. We just use Google Sheets. It's more than enough. Uh, it works incredibly uh fine right you just you can just get fancy with this if you want i can make a whole video on this on on metric tracking if you guys want me to but this is just basically me covering what software i'm using so that you can just copy and paste this into your business okay so next software um is go high level again okay and i'm telling you this a million times okay because go high level is such a ridiculously valuable tool you are missing out i will tell you you are missing out if you are not using this okay now one second here. Okay, and I pause this because I'm not, shouldn't show you my my actual uh, pipeline, uh, but I can show you my hiring pipeline, okay? So essentially, 
whenever someone submits an application form, this is my sales rep hiring pipeline, by the way, whenever someone submits an application form, I get these new prospects in here. This basically works like you can just apply this to appointment booking rate or your appointment books, right? So when someone books a call, they just put get put into like new prospect. Uh, and then when you like don't close them, you can just put them into the new section, right? So if this guy, so this guy would just pop up in here initially, and then I would move them into rejected if I didn't like his application. And then I would move him into accepted for interview. So basically I would put him here and then an automatic email would be like, it's set up to send that congratulations, we've been accepted for an interview and it gives them a link. Once they actually um, schedule the interview, then it automatically moves them to here. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much done hiring. That's why they're or all in the same like columns and then i would move them in then it would automatically move them in here once the interview is complete i just move them in here until i make a decision then i either reject them or accept them hottie is my sales rep right now he's an absolute goat and sandro is one of my setters two really awesome guys but anyways that's beside the point so hopefully this makes sense right you can just set this up it's not like like again this would take like an hour for me to set up but i'm just kind of showing you how it works if you want me to make a video on high level i will gladly make one because there's a lot of good shit in here um that i would be more than happy to share with you guys okay so that's that next meeting is zoom pretty simple we you get the premium version it's 20 bucks a month if you're too poor for zoom that's fine just use uh google sheets i like zoom more because the camera quality is better and the recording is much easier and maybe that's just me being familiar with zoom um but personally i just use zoom this is not like if you are going to use google meets it's not the end of the world but i just use Zoom. okay contracts docusign pretty straightforward i'm obviously not going to log into my docusign because that would not be a very intelligent business decision of me to do that. Also not going to log, you know what? I can log into my Stripe to show you guys that I'm not a liar, right? So we'll go into here. We go into the last four weeks. So that's Stripe, pretty straightforward. Um, that's how you collect payments. You just make links and then you send that to people. Uh, I, there's probably some stuff that I had to blur out there. But anyways, there you go, right? Communication, Slack. So we use Slack to communicate with our team. So let me just pull this up here and go to some not private channels so that I can actually show you what's up here. Okay, actually I'll show you this because this is a little goodie as well here, right? So we pop open Slack. This is where we have all of our teammates here. This is where we have all of our channels where we talk about some different clients, not in a bad way, obviously, but we, we talk about how we help the client and what the tasks are for that specific client. And then we communicate there. Obviously I can't show you that, right? And then we have our EOD reports. So our VAs, our setters and our salespeople all submit a report at the end of every single day. So we know what's going on there. And then we just have chats for our different departments. And then team culture, we're all forced to post different pictures of us working out at the gym. That's why we have the most jacked VAs in the industry because we have this kind of a team culture of self-improvement. So this is me with one of my setters who's actually my roommate going to the gym. So every single person, we have to, we have to post three gym pictures in here every single week or you get booted from the team, okay? So we have an incredible culture like that. I would highly recommend you implement something similar into your own business once you actually get to this point, right? But that's what we have, it's really awesome and it really helps build uh, the team as, as just a community, not just like filling out spreadsheets and, and doing shit like that, okay? But that's how we actually talk um, as a team and how we communicate. We can just pop open huddles here whenever we want, which is basically just like a Discord chat. It's very similar to Discord if you're familiar with that, but it's more business friendly, I guess, okay? Next thing we use is Loom, okay? So this saves us a bunch of time. This is what I'm using right now to record this video. Uh, but normally what I would do is I would simply just record like a, like a two minute Loom. Um, sometimes longer, right, depending on what I'm trying to explain. But instead of me typing out the entire text of the whole thing that I want to explain to someone, a lot of the times it's easier to just pop open Loom, record a two minute video, get a Loom link and send it to them. Okay, if you're not familiar with Loom, I would look into it. It is free-ish. Um, you can record like 15 videos for free, which is kind of useless to be fair. Um, actually, no, I think you can record infinite, um, but it, you can only record five minute long videos. I think that it's something like that. I don't know. I have the paid version, so I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but essentially, right. You just click new video. I'm not going to do this because it'll stop my recording. We just click new video record, and then you can record a video. Once the video is done, right. I'll just show you this because this is not a super important folder. Uh, but this is basically just the folders that I, I, I just throw the stuff in here that I use to communicate with my clients, right? So we just copy this link, send it to them, just copy the link, paste them, uh, and then send them the thing. They'll be able to watch the video really, really, really easy. Okay. So that's basically how Loom works. And it's really, really awesome. 
last thing, click up. I know I'm speeding through these. I want to show you guys as much shit as possible. And if you if you like any of these, if you want me to actually go in depth into all of them, especially high level, by the way, um, then let me know and I will do that. Okay. But click up, right? This is very, very useful as well. Okay. So basically me and well, I mean, me and my team use this. It's mostly just me and my operations manager, Jacob, who kind of use this. We organize all the different tasks we have to do for the business. So these, all these different things, finish virtual system training. We're updating the SOPs for our VAs. So that's what this is, right? We have organized daily meeting with each VA, all these different things, all these different task lists that we have to do. And then I have my personal task list here. It's really, it's not like that simple to get set up, but it's not very difficult, right? What you do is you just get a space, right? You can create a space. This is mine, for example. I have my own personal tasks here, which is really simple. At this point, I've kind of done all the like tasks that I have to do. Basically right now is I'm just training my sales rep uh, who I just onboarded on Monday. And then I'm just gonna record a shit ton of YouTube videos right now because I'm trying to grow that aspect um, of the business now that I'm not actually taking sales calls, right? So that's basically my to-do list. You can put assignees on here, right? So right, like I said, it's just me and Jacob right now. Um, you can add due dates, time estimates, all these different things. Um, it's You don't need to use all these different features, but it's nice to have just a place to organize every single thing that you need to do, okay? So overall, that is pretty much it. I'm not gonna drag this out for too long. If you want access to the links, they're gonna be in the description. You can click on them if you want, most of them. Maybe like half of them are affiliate links. So if you don't want to give me money, then don't. Um, but that's pretty much it. Okay, bye.